Hey guys, what is going on? Ip of H Quit TV. Uh, casting what I was told it was the most epic ZVZ yet to be played. We do have Destiny versus Spanishwa. Spanishwa has a very odd ZVZ. I was told he does love Nidus Worms, Ultralisks, Queens, etc. And Spanishwa and Destiny are just doing some practice games. Destiny wants to see how Spanishwa plays, if it is actually valid. So they did play like five games, I think it was. And a little bit of lag coming out. That was a little bit odd, especially because, well, I'm doing a replay. So someone did message me, probably talking about, are you casting the Go for StarCraft 2 today? And yes, I will cast it soon as this is uh, over, because I was told this was such a good game. Really want to get it casted, get it uploaded to YouTube, etc., etc. We do have both players playing vi fairly standard, doing a 9 Overlord, so... No changes yet. Spinichua is spawning at the bottom right. Destiny spawns at the top left. And I'm curious if anyone is going for a hatch first build. You do have some chatter going on in the game. We do have uh, Overlord also coming out from Spinichua going right over the smiley face. So I wonder what map this is. If this is just the old version of Shakur's Plateau. If this is like... M I think this is MLG Shakur's Plateau if I remember correctly. I saw that on the loading screen because, well, if you do know... I did notice the latest version of Shakur as well doesn't have these rocks and it doesn't have the big old smiley face in the twelve or 6 o'clock position. Do have a hatch first coming out from Spanishawa over in Destiny. He is going for the gas then pull so he is going to have speedlings way 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 before Spanishawa but Spanishawa does not care. He does love his queens. His queens are very very good. We'll probably block off this ramp with two queens and put up some spine crawlers here and it does look like SC dash replay is uh... I don't know that's where you can download these replays from I guess that's where I got it from a spawning pool is being built by Spanishwa right around 16 so he's not gonna have lings out for some time Destiny's pool is just about finished and he is going to have maybe this was a pool then extractor because well he doesn't have the hundred gas right just yet he was a little bit late chance the drones there either way we do have Spinichua with a drone scout gonna come up see ooh no expansion so you did not go hatch first gonna come up see some links pop out and know exactly what is coming his way his pool is just about finished can't wait to see the timing on this this is a very standard opening in ZBZ and Spinichua I think got a 16 pool which is a little bit odd Destiny does have Lings out going towards Spinichawa's base, and Spinichawa ju pulls has just finished getting six Lings out and two Queens, I believe. Is that the second Queen? Yes, two Queens and six Lings. We do have Destiny with four Lings coming in to attack Spinichawa. It looks like Spinichawa will have enough defense easily, and two more Lings coming out from Destiny. Destiny is getting his expansion while getting this speed upgrade. Has put off his Jones getting gas right when he had 100, so he's not going to be getting gas for some time that lets him get up his hatchery around 21 and of course get many many lings out to go attack Spinichua. Spinichua has more lings out so he is pushing Destiny back. Has to be careful because as soon as Destiny does get speed he'll be able to turn around and get reinforcements to the battlefield much much quicker. Destiny is going back gonna be going up this ramp and his lings are not coming. There's only two lings. Does he have more lings up here? No he does not. Looks like he's just gonna defend this off with his queen. We do have Spinichawa taking out this hatchery. Is he actually going to be able to get this down? Does not have any more links coming, but he is going to attack this. He's going to force the cancel from Destiny. Going over this link count, it is eight links to seven links, so Destiny probably could deal with this, but he's just going to let the hatchery go down. It looks like Destiny is going to be forced to cancel this. Does he get the cancel off? I believe he does. May not have. I don't see a drone. I didn't see Spanichawa take out a drone. Going over this, Wilk is killed. Spanichawa hasn't killed a drone, so no, that did actually get taken out. Destiny losing a lot of money in this early game. Not sure what he was doing. Very uncharacteristic. We do have another hatchery coming out from Destiny and going to be putting pressure on Spanichawa, but Spanichawa has a spine crawler up. Three queens. Queens blocking this, getting another spine crawler. So he will be easily able to defend these links. It looks like one of his creep tumors is going to be going down. Destiny does pop in, sees the three queens, sees one spine crawler and another one coming out, and yet another spine crawler from Spanishawa. 
And Spanishua does not have any gas just yet. It's about 6 minutes and 50 seconds in the game. He has 29 drones to just 21 drones. And Spanishua takes the, my rule of ZVZ and throws it completely out the window. Because I always say ZVZ is a game of just drone chicken. But Spanishua showing... No, it's not. You can build as many drones as you want. Just get many queens and spine claws and you'll be just fine. We do have four extractors being built at the same time. Going to get all that gas at once. Not sure exactly what he is going to be doing. His lings do not have speed because, well, it doesn't have any gas yet. Looks like his gases are just about to finish. He's pulling his drones off to go get gas from all four of them. And Destiny's hatchery is just about up. There we go. The hatch is up. We do have the Roach one coming up, and Destiny is coming back. Looks like, ooh, Spanishwa going to be losing an Overlord going over in this unit. Killed. We're going to see 12 kills now for Destiny to just the 8 kills for Spanishwa. But Spanishwa is pretty far ahead on the macro, I would say. 45 drones to just 31 drones is getting a Roach one right over here to start keeping up his little... Wall of spine crawlers, queens, and etc. It's gonna be really hard for Destiny to break this with just lings. And we do have Spanishua getting a lair right now. Destiny is as well. Destiny's lair is not too far ahead of Spanishua's, considering Spanishua got gas like ages, ages later. And some lings coming out from Spanishua to go poke around. Spanishua's speed is about halfway done. And his lair is now just finishing. Destiny does have his lair up, going for a plus one, plus one, and the uh, and the roach speed. So it looks like he's doing a one one speed for those roaches. Few links from Spanishwa are coming out. Destiny does have speed, so his links are going to be get safely back to base while he gets some units out to start defending this. Actually, Spanishwa may have more links than Destiny. Yes, sixteen links right now. The ten links, but four roaches are coming out. Spanishwa is going to go for the queen, possibly. No, going to go for some drones. And gets two drone kills, I think. Maybe not. This drone does live with just one HP left. We do have more links coming out from Spanishwa. He does now have speed. And whoa, Infestation Pit and Nidus Worm coming out from Spanishwa. Going straight into that Hive tech. Earliest Hive I have ever seen in a ZVZ. Only 10 minutes in the game. Hive coming out. There is a Nidus Worm. And Spanishwa is taking a third base at the same time. He is at 46 drones to Destiny's 42 drones. And Destiny has just roaches and lings out. And Spinach while going on his third base. Destiny now getting his infestation pit. But that is not to get Hive. He is going to be getting that infestation pit because he loves infestors. Uses infestors in pretty much every matchup religiously. And has really good infestor control. So once he gets that up, it's going to shut down Spinach He's not going to be able to do too much. Spanishwa's third base is about three quarters of the way done. And we have an Overlord coming out here, an Overseer coming out here. Is he going to do a Nidus Worm right now? And yes, he is. The Nidus Worm is coming out from Spanishwa. And what's he have in this? It doesn't look like he has anything in yet. Just getting a lot of links to go in it. Destiny does not see this Nidus Worm going over in Destiny's camera. Oh, he just spots it now when he goes to take out those rocks. And here we go. Lots of links running in. Destiny probably a little bit confused because you never, ever see Nidus Worm views. Ling's going straight for the middle line. Going to go for this queen. Take the queen out. And does look like the queen will fall. Doesn't get too many drone kills. Lost a, quite a bit of Ling's there. And does have another Overlord here. Has Overlord spread out. Another Overlord coming. This Nidus Worm is still up. Does have Infestors here too. Looks like two Infestors will be coming out. They do have enough to fungal growth. One goes down. The other goes right back into it. And there was uh, an Archelist Cavern being built right now. And we have him, I guess, doing a Nidus Worm to his third base. Oh, lots of Nidus Worms going about. Going in Destiny's camera. Let's lock in. Is he going all around? Yes, he is. He is looking for that Nidus Worm. Not realizing it is in the third base of Spanishwa because, well, he doesn't even know there is a third base. Destiny just poking all around his base. Needs to get vision everywhere so these Nidus Worms do not catch him by surprise. Again, going into this worker kill count, you have 7 to 1, so it looks like he killed about 6 workers through that last Nidus Worm. Destiny again attacking this. His roaches are pulling back. I do not know why they are. And we do have plus two melee attack coming out from Spanishua now. Getting these gases immediately. That Ultralisk cavern is just about done. And yes, you are going to see Ultralisk used in a ZVZ along with Nidus Worms. One of the most weird ZVZs I have seen 
today. Definitely holding up to the hype that it was uh, given on Reddit. Overseer coming out. I'm not sure if that is going to throw down another Nidus Worm. We only have one Nidus Worm out. I would love to see him do like two Nidus Worms and have multiple times. And holy cow, did not notice how many queens are out from Spanishawa. That looks like it is uh, eight queens. And lots of them have a lot of energy on them. Overseer is coming in. Looks like he is going to throw down another Nidus. No, he is not. Overlord is sitting here just checking out for Destiny's third base. He does have his third base up now. So 55 drones to 42 drones. Looks like a lot of Ling's going to be poking around. We have six Archerlis being made. That Chitinous plating is about halfway done. Level 2 is about done. And we have Missile Attacks. And ground armor for Destiny, just about done with Overlord speed it looks like, so he can get those Overlords pretty much everywhere and find out where the Nidus Worms are, because he needs complete map vision to deal with this. We do have Destiny trying to take out these destructible rocks here. Destiny now spreading out his Overlord so he can see the whole map. Needs to know where the Nidus Worms are coming from, and look at this Overlord spread from Destiny. And plenty of Ultralisk and Queens out from Spanishawa. Never actually seen this unit composition. Don't know how it's going to work. I thought Ultralisk were pretty bad in ZBZ, but Spanishawa must have a different opinion. It looks like we have another Nidus Worm coming down right at where Destiny would want to put his third base. And let's go back in Destiny's camp. Let's see where he's looking for that. He does see that third base is going to take out those rocks. But uh-oh, he is about to see a bunch of Ultralisk start running for his second base. Is he? Oh no, all the Ultralisk and stuff came here, using the Nidus Worm in his base to easily get here. And Destiny must be a little bit shocked to see this many Ultralisk. Gets the Fungal Ghost, so those Ultralisk cannot run away. I mean, those Roaches cannot run away and takes out quite a few of them. Gonna go into this Nidus Worm and possibly, yes, he is gonna be going into this other place, being everywhere at once, throwing down another Nidus. And so he is just Nidusing up this entire place. And looks like Destiny is going to easily be able to hold this. I don't... I believe it's really easy to uh, stop these Ultras right here just because, well, they are Malay units, so they can't exactly go up top that ramp. So Destiny's always going to have that positional advantage. We do have a big battle going on, and Spanishwa just keeps transfusing his Ultra list so they do not die. Those Queens are being a huge, huge help to Spanishwa right now. The most effective unit army I have ever seen from Ultras and Queens. But Destiny's army is just too big, can just outproduce him right now, not outproduce, just has too many units going in this army tab. You can see 106 supply versus 73 supply going over into the loss tab. You can see Spanishwa has lost a little bit more than Destiny, so maybe that wasn't cost effective of an army mix. And maybe Roaches just beats these ultras, but Spanishwa is not changing, getting six more ultras right now. Gonna be going into the Nidus again, and where did he throw down that Nidus? Looks like... Right here, takes out the third base of Destiny, not letting him get that up. The Ultras do retreat back into the Nidus Worm. And I'm looking desperately throughout this minimap to see another Nidus come out, because he has just been throwing these left and right. We have all, most of Destiny's forces at his third base, and doesn't look like anything fishy is going on. Destiny is throwing down a Hydra Den, it appears. Has Overlords pretty much everywhere, so he can see these pretty quickly. Let's go in Destiny's vision. Yeah, he can see pretty much his whole base. He's done a great job connecting everything with creep does see that Spanishwa is going on four bases right now and has landed a infested tenant to take out one of Spanishwa's overlords and looks like those roaches did burrow to regain HP and then unburrowed for some reason they're not all full but I guess he's happy enough and here we go another nice one coming out from Spanishwa lots of ultras and queens again and gonna go down but all these ultras get trapped on that ramp they can't really do too much so he's just going to go right back into the nice one. We have another nice one coming up. Destiny does see this. Does have an Infestor here. Is the Infestor going to be able to do anything? It doesn't look like it. And Ultras are going to be coming out. And whoa, that is a lot of Ultras coming out. Destiny is forced to pull back. I don't know if Fung Growth really works on those Ultra list as they do have Frenzy. And lots of Infested Hands coming out. Looks like Infested Hands deal pretty well with Ultras. Ultras are retreating back into the nice one. And some Ultras did get left behind. Those Roaches are going to deal with them pretty well. Going over this unit's killed. It's actually a little bit even. He only killed one worker when he had those Ultras in here. But, uh, units killed. It looks like Destiny has killed a little bit more. Going over this Lost tab. Spanichua has lost about double of Destiny. This is not looking good for Spanichua at all. 
but Destiny just has to make one mistake, and with all these nice ones, that mistake is pretty easily made. And another nice is coming up here from Spanishawa. Overlords again just spreading out so they can see where nice ones are. Destiny doing a great job at this. And has all his forces here. Sees a nice one coming up. He's like, oh crap, I can't base him because he can just teleport back to his base. I have to get back and start defending. All his roaches are coming with infestors. Spanishawa not unloading anything. Just sending links in to take out something. But Destiny does see this with Overlords. Splitting up his forces, doing a great job. A lot of uh, infestors there just burn when they see those links. And looks like he is going to lose quite a bit of harvesters. Destiny is going to come here to take out this one Nidus worm. And Spanishawa ha with has some idle links. So he looks like he just puts him in hold position. Once he gets into the middle line, this will stop them from attacking things that attack them. But if there's no drones by them, they won't be attacking anything. And whoa, another Nidus worm. Where did that come up at? I have no idea. Just wait for a, a stream of yellow to go about. And maybe that was just at one of his bases. As I don't really see anything. Maybe it was here and got taken out. And Roach is coming in. Now they're in the middle of the map. Going to be attacking Spanishawa. Spanishawa has a lot of Ultralis going into this count. How many Ultras does he have? Looks like 15 Ultras and 11 Queens. And Destiny probably doesn't exactly know how to handle this army. We do have another Queen being made. Another Nidus Worm. And oh! There goes uh, that knight is trying to get it off. And uh-oh, we do have Spanishwa getting a knight off. Destiny can see this. Is he reacting to it? It looks like he is pulling a few roaches, but this nice one is going to get off. Destiny is completely contained to his base. And Spanishwa is just doing a lot of damage. Here go all the queens. And now ultras are coming out. Queens are starting to transfuse themselves, not taking any losses here. This is becoming a very scary army. Spanishwa is at... 1-3, it says 3-3, three, three, but that is Chitinous Plating, doesn't have level 2 armor, and Destiny is going to hold this low ground, very easy for Destiny to hold, because, well, he can get a complete concave on that, and only like two ultras can fit on that lamp to actually do damage, so Spanishawa looks like he may just run away and just hold this position tight, we do have another nice here, so he's going to keep all the roaches here, and then going to go in, but Destiny does have his roaches split up, this one Nidus does get taken out, I think that was Spanishawa's plan, keep all the forces here because he is right here, and then just teleport down here, but Destiny is on top of his game right now, shutting down all those Nidus's, and this is how Spanishawa, I think, plans on winning, and there's another Nidus going off somewhere, not exactly sure where, there it is, right in the middle of the map, so Spanishawa wants to engage where there's a huge open space, Destiny does see this, he is pulling out his units, gonna try to get an instant concave, or maybe just go up on top, and sacrifice this base. Not exactly sure what is going to be happening. Spanishwa looks like he was just healing up his ultras and going over this army tab. It does look like it is fairly even. Both players are at 200, 200. And we finally have Spanishwa at 25 minutes in the game getting pathogen glands. And Destiny is getting his spire up. Does Destiny have a hive? Yes, he does. Looks like he is going to try to get some broodlords to deal with this mass ultra queen. We have overseers being made by Spanishwa, probably to see bird roaches. Going over this army supply, Destiny is capped. So is Spanishwa, but Spanishwa has more drones. As you can see, the army supply is greater for Destiny, but the worker supply is greater for Spanishwa. And Destiny is stacking 2400, 1600, Spanishwa stacking 800, 1400. And it looks like those queens are going to be taking out Overlords. And here we go, it looks like we're going to have an engagement going out. There's Ultras, lots of Ultras, going to get uh, healed up. Infested Terrans come out to try to deal damage to these Ultras. The Ultras just instantly take them out, but that's so many Infested Terrans. Queens here is transfusing the Ultras. Have these HP buzz up so you can see the Ultra's health just go down and straight back up. It looks like, oh my gosh, Spanishwa didn't really take any losses there. And Destiny almost lost his entire force. The transfusers from Spanishwa are just so good. Spanishwa playing at an APM of over 300. So is Destiny though. But mass Ultra's coming out from Spanishwa. It does look like Destiny does not have the answer. Late game, this appears to be pretty darn strong. And looks like we have another nice coming off. In the midst of this, these Hydras are getting taken out by the Ultras. More Ultras out. And Mass Queen's Ultras just taking Destiny to town. We have Destiny trying to take, a f I guess this is his fourth base or maybe his fifth base. Ultra here with 9 HP. Two Queens here taking out a Roach it looks like. 
And another Nidus Worm up here so he can go into the main pretty easily. Spinishwa just has Nidus Worms pretty much everywhere. And it looks like one Ultralis does go down and more will. But you can see this. It just looks like Spinishwa has an unlimited number of units right now. Going over this army supply. It actually looks like it is about even. But Spinishwa's units do not die when they are not clumped up at a ramp. And Destiny does not have much income left. Going over this income tab. Actually, both players do not have too much mining going on. Right now, it looks like these armies are pretty much it. Going over the army supply. And <laughs> those archers were trapped behind the queen. You can see the supply is even on this little bug graph. But going in the money count, you can see Spanishwa looks like he has double the size if you go cost-wise. So Spanishwa definitely has a larger army than Destiny. A few roaches do come up. Could have just stayed there because they are not going to be getting away. Maybe they will. But then Fessor could throw down a fungal growth and completely stop them. Roaches burrowing, unburrowing. But there is an overseer to take them out. And Spinishwa still has this Nidus one here. And another Nidus one is going up. Not exactly sure where it is. And looks like Destiny does take that one out. And still don't see a Nidus one. Maybe it was at one of his bases so we can defend him. Maybe it was this one again. Not sure if that did go down. There's been so many Nidus going out through this game. I have completely lost track. Oh, it was right here. And uh, Spinishwa is going to attack that, then probably hop into the nice one and get out of there. We do have Hydras on this high ground attacking the Ultralis, but look how quickly that hatchery does go down. Pretty much instantly sniped. And this Queen's just limping away. Probably shouldn't have taken out all these creep kills. I'm not sure if that was Spinishwa or Destiny. It may have been Destiny knowing that Spinishwa is going with these mass Queens and needs them to transfuse his Ultralis. So take out your own creep tumors. Maybe a valid strategy in this situation. It looks like we have a Nidus Worm being built by a drone. Well, no, it just looked weird on my uh, observer thing. Maybe it was queued up. I'm not sure why it looked like that. Destiny is taking another base up here. And looks like the Ultras and stuff are going back into this Nidus. And looks like he unloads and starts running towards it anyways when he could have just unloaded here. Not exactly sure what's been each one was thinking there, and the army tab does show it is even again, and Spinishwa, <laughs> all the drones do both from Destiny, thinks they're safe, Spinishwa has three infestors, or four, inf five infestors, so he could fungal go to the middle line if he wants to, and uh oh, all those drones are going out, because the overseer did come, throws down a Nidus Worm so he can get out, because Destiny is going to try to trap him in here, and Nidus Worm is going to get up, and he's just going to escape to the best of his ability, we do have a lot of infested hands from Destiny. This nice one is going to go up, and here we go. Getting a quick, quick escape back out of there. And where is he going to be going next? Could pretty much go anywhere he wants to on the map. This obviously it could throw down another Nidus, and Destiny is not mining right now. It doesn't appear to be. Actually, he has a few drones mining right here. 80 minerals per second right now. Spanishwa is completely shutting him out, and uh-oh, the Broodlords have came. Two Broodlords are out. That will not be good news for those Ultras. Broodlords and a lot of Infestors. Those Infestors will be able to fungo the Queen so they cannot get underneath the Broodlords. And then, well, the Broodlords will just wreck everything Spanishwa has. But Spanishwa is getting some Broodlords of his own. And he has more than Destiny. So it's going to be Broodlords versus Broodlords right now, which uh, neither win because they can't hit each other. But we just have a mass broodling fest going down. All the infested bird to go underneath these broodlords. And I think they're just going to shoot up. Yes, a bunch of infested talents to take out all these broodlords. Really nice call by Destiny. These broodlords are going to go down so quickly. But Spanishwa throwing down infested talents of his own. And a nice one. Looks like he is going to be engaging now. All the infestors unburrow. Huge battle going on right now. Fungal Girth going down. I don't know who is winning right now. But Burrow goes and from the Destiny's Infestor and Destiny is running away. We do have some Corruptors out from Spanishwa to take care of these Broodlords. And it does look like Spanishwa is coming out victorious right now. He can lose more than Destiny because, well, he is mining. Destiny really is not. We have him hopping in his nice one and he is going towards Destiny's main base now. Knowing well he can teleport back to his natural and uh, defend it. And looks like Amuta is out 
from Destiny, and there's really no anti- oh, three anti- uh, queens from Spanish want to take out the, uh, Mutalist. And Joe's doing long distance mining, just getting picked off by these Ultras. And Spanishwa just doing so much damage right now. Has some links coming in, take out these Jones mining here. Going in this Wilka kill count, 40. It looks like it's about even, actually, as Destiny is landing infested attempts to take out a lot of these Jones. Spanishwa has Corruptors just sitting here watching it happen. They're like, oh, we can't do anything. But Spanishwa is getting a nice one here so he can bring some units back and deal with that. Ultra's coming out, still trying to take out Jones. 33 kills on that one, 29 on this. Metamorph on those Ultra's lings. And where is another Ultra to see how many kills this thing has? 27 kills. Even the Queens have kills on them. And going in this army tab, it is a lot to a little right now. I think this game move, I think Spanishwa is actually going to take this game. Going in this army supply, you can see how much it is tilted. Here we go, a few Ultras from Spanish while coming. Destiny has some Hydras burrowed, just waiting for these Ultras to leave. And does he have an Overseer coming? It does not look like it. But Destiny has to know he is behind at this point. Or maybe he knows just how little mining Spanish while is doing. And he has these Infestors, which can launch these Infested hands, not taking any damage on the Infestor and just whittling down these Ultras. But he does have Queens to heal them up. And Destiny is... I think I'm about done. L O flickin' L. Cannot believe this game. It's been HL. I was like, yeah, it was a fun game. Thanks for the games. And I think they play more, but this was just the best one out of the series. Game number three, if you find the replay pack and want to see this. Great game all around. Both players being very friendly. You see Spanishwa with the weirdest bill of, of all time in ZBZ taking that game. Destiny versus Spanishwa. Hopefully, you enjoyed it.